Hey, Jalen, uh, what did you feel like you guys were able to accomplish in the bye week? And, I mean, do you feel refreshed? Do you feel better than you have been in the past weeks? Yeah. Um, I would definitely say getting our bodies right. But um, it was definitely still a uh, work week for us. Um, practice, you know, work on all the little things and um, – um, get better as a team on just yeah, just the little things done this week. To the left, Cease. So take us through. Where do you think Zach has improved most in the last four or five games? In, you know, and what maybe does he have to, maybe have to work on? Um, I definitely say he um, he's definitely improved on his accuracy with throwing the ball. Um, I would definitely like to see him improving like um, in touch passes and stuff like that. But he's uh, grown so much and. He's become more comfortable in the pocket, um, throwing the ball. Down front, Travis, and then Cole. I know it's not your side of the ball position, Coach, but is there a, a, a coolness aspect to getting Antonio Cromartie in as, a, as an assistant coach and the, the experience he has, and have you had much interaction with him? Yeah, we, uh, we, talk, we talk a lot, um, and um, I like to ask him questions, pick his brain, you know, and um, even, even pregame, he'll come and, and guard me off the line and, uh, his his uh, his jab off the line is so strong. He be pushing me. He be pushing me. So uh, it's really it's really cool. That's really cool. Is there one piece of advice or something he's told you that's really stuck with you? Oh uh, no, we just try to keep it. We try to keep it friendly. But he's definitely um, pushed me to work hard and stuff like that. So yeah. All right, cool. Jalen, it's a new scheme out in Auburn, but you've kind of seen it before with Derek Mason at Vanderbilt last year. What have you noticed from their defense this season, just on early film? Um yeah, we um. I haven't, I haven't watched film on them. I haven't watched film on them yet, but I saw uh, the Auburn and Ole Miss game. Um, but yeah, I would say it's still the same defense, same players, you know. And um, uh, Jimbo's going to write a game plan that we can uh, pick them apart somewhere. And then, what was the main thing that you want to work on personally during the bye week? And did you feel like you accomplished that? I, um, I definitely uh, feel like I accomplished it during the off week. I tried to work on my speed and just my, um, just like the little things, catching the ball and watching the ball into my hands and stuff. And I definitely think I improved on that this week. Second row, Olin. Jalen, um, looking back, was there a time uh, in this season, maybe after the Mississippi State game, where where you guys ever doubted yourselves as far as how good this team could be? Yeah, and um, especially after those two losses, um, is after Mississippi State, we uh, I was even doubting myself. I doubted my catching ability. Um, I doubted a lot of things about me, but um, that's just it's just confidence, you know, like. Um, in practice, we had, we tried to build our confidence, and I had to be a leader. I had to step up and say, hey. And uh, players to me, like Anais and Isaiah, try to keep my confidence up with stuff like that. So, um, yeah, that, after those two losses, those um, that's, when my, that's when our confidence went down, but I feel like we regained that. Yeah, I was going to ask you, where do you think you all are now as a team going into a stretch, your know, last four games where they'll still have a chance to do some amazing things? Yeah, uh, you said it yourself. We still we know that we still can do some amazing things, and we see how good of a team that we can be. Even even as as much as high we are right now, like um, we haven't reached our full potential, and we know that. So we're working on that every week to get better. Go back behind the lights. Start with Tyler, and then Mike. Jalen, kind of going off that, just what's the confidence level like of the team? You know, heading into this, this Saturday's match with Auburn. Um, our confidence is up there. We know what we can do and we know what we can accomplish Offense on the offense side of the ball and the defense side of the ball, but we're still trying to um, stay persistent with our work ethic and stuff and um, not, not get too big-headed. Staying in the back, Mike. Jalen, you mentioned the word confidence five, six times now. I'm curious, mm -hmm. can you coach confidence or is that just something that comes along with success in games and success in practice? It, yeah, I think it comes with success in practice, you know, and um, – Everything just comes from practice, you know. Um, yeah, that's that's where confidence generates from in practice, and um, definitely when you're hitting the mark and when uh, when Zach stole me the ball, I'm catching every ball in practice. I definitely get I feel more confident about the, that game week and that uh, game day. So yeah, it's all all generates from practice. Go to the left, cease. Gene, I know you ain't been involved in one of those games, but Ainham's never beat Auburn at home, and uh, do you find that strange? You guys talk about that. Um, no, I mean, we we just try to we try to do everything that we can, you know. Um, with Auburn, we haven't we yeah you're right we haven't beaten them at home, but uh, you never know what's going to happen. So when when it's Kyle Field, you never know. So down front, Cole, Jalen, going into the last couple of weeks, you have some big games: Ole Miss, Auburn, LSU. How do you tell the young players how to keep their composure during these during this final stretch? 
Um, Jim, Jimbo helps a lot with that. I would just say um, not to get too big-headed because, um, like, a, young, a lot of young players never – we everybody's talking about how good we are right now, and, and you don't want them to get too big-headed, you know. So um, just try to keep them as humble as they can and uh, show them how we got to this moment. We got to hear about working hard in practice. Anything else, Dylan? All right, Dylan, thank you, sir. Thank Appreciate you. it.